Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Kickstart here to show you guys how to draw the off-white blazer step by step. As usual, we're going to start off by drawing two squares right next to each other. Afterward, we're going to divide those two squares into top and bottom halves. Then we're going to add a vertical line separating the bottom right hand quadrant into halves, as well as that initial left box that we made into halves. Finally, we're going to add one horizontal line dividing the bottom quadrants into halves. This will give us all the guidelines we need to draw the rest of the shoe. Then I'm going to go ahead and start on the outsole. As usual, you want to look at where I place my lines in relation to where we have the guidelines currently. This will give you a good idea for how the positioning of the shoe should look. Now I'm going to start working on defining the upper. And you're going to notice with the swoosh I go over it a few times to make sure it looks good. Again, you guys know what a Nike swoosh looks like. If it looks a little bit off, just keep working at it. And use that middle intersection for a good placement on where the end of the swoosh should be. Now I'm going to go through and start to add some more details on the side paneling as well as I'm going to start defining the laces a little bit. Then I'm going to add one small detail on the outsole and you are done. As usual, the rest of the video is going to be me going through with a black micron marker to define the outline. And if you'd like, I'll have this stencil available for you in the description. Now for this next week, I have a few goals of things I want to do. For one, I want to make sure that all the stencils are updated on the site. If you go through my videos, you'll notice that there are a few videos that I don't have stencils for on the site. I know the Jordan 10 is one, there's a few Kobe models that I don't have on the site, there's a few LeBron models, uh, I think there's a total of 10 or 12 different stencils that I don't have available so I want to make sure I bust it out this week. I also want to go through and kind of revamp the site. Right now I'm just using a basic template off of Squarespace. I want to go and make it my own though so that way it has my own custom feel as well as go through and kind of clean up some of the stencils already. I double checked because I was curious to see how many stencils I had. I actually have a little bit over 60 stencils which is crazy because I thought I had a lot less. And like I mentioned before in a previous video, my goal is to hopefully have at least 100 to 150 stencils by this time next year. That way you have pretty much any stencil that you would want and it's at your disposal for you to grab so you can print it out whenever you'd like. And then aside from taking care of the website aspect of Kickstart, I also want to work on the Instagram aspect of it. It's important whenever you're working with a channel that you want to diversify the social media platforms that you use. So if you're a YouTuber, you don't want to kind of bottleneck yourself into just working on YouTube. You want to work on different platforms to kind of help branch yourself out. So I have a few ideas for how I want to do that on Instagram just to make it more convenient. So for example, if I'm doing like a how to draw video like this, I might post a, like a small snippet of me kind of going through how I'll do the step-by-step -step portion of it. And then if you want to watch the rest of the video, you can just go on my channel from the link I'll have available in my bio. And I don't know if anybody follows the NBA on Instagram, but but after all the games for that day are already done, uh, they'll go through and they'll post a combined post where you can swipe to the right to see the scores from all of the games that were played. And I kind of want to do something similar to that, but instead of having it every day, have it every week, so like on a Sunday, so you can swipe through and you can see all the drawings I did for that week. All right, but that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what sneaker you'd like to see me draw for tomorrow's video. If you are new to the channel, I would love you to subscribe. I upload daily sneaker drawing videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.